Hey you, it's Abby. Alright you guys, I'm going to try to do this video as fast as I can. Uh, I plan on you watching this today, as just after I record it. I had another video for you um, that I was planning on doing, but you guys, I feel so awful today. I feel like crap. And I'll show you why. <laughs> um, if you follow me on the Facebook support group, uh, you'll see that yesterday I had a nerve block. Boy, the house is a mess. <laughs> I had a nerve block done in my elbow. Let's see if you can see that right there. Yeah, I didn't wash everything off yet. You guys, I didn't even brush my hair today. Put my crazy hair in a messy braid and I crashed and took a two hour nap already today. So, that's why I look like this. I feel like I'm in a bit of a flare. I don't know if you see my face looks red to you. I don't know. A nerve block can be used for... It could be used for pain. It could be used for, like, right before surgery to numb an area. Diagnosis kind of... There's a few different kind of nerve blocks. And the nerve block I had done was for that weakness. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that this arm and the hand and these two fingers, my ring finger and my pinky finger, they, I, don't, I wouldn't say numb, but it's like this weak, tingly feeling. Um, I used to think I had pretty good handwriting, but just I, my handwriting went to crap because it just feels funny writing so I'm a kind of like had to relearn how to write again and uh, I used to draw I love to draw but I haven't done that since all this has happened I'd say it's been the last three-ish years I don't know what I was getting at like I played for this job years ago and it was a lot of these little things it's like a factory job it was these little plastic pieces and you had to pick them apart and they were really tiny, but uh, it's like it messes with your hand coordination. So like, um, I'm not strong in here. I haven't been able to pull back my bow in, in for quite a while, like like three years, probably even longer than that. So I'm hoping it'll help. We'll see. But oh, that hurt. <laughs> At least it wasn't as ongoing as the injections I get around my skull and my forehead but uh yeah it's definitely tender I keep remembering he doesn't want me to keep put pressure on it you know and going like this so I'm trying to remember to keep it straight but you guys you know how your face kind of feels dumb after the dentist because it's all numb it just feels it's the best way I can describe it is that it feels dumb you should have seen me walking around all these with Nate with a dumb arm I'm so happy that my doctor told me to bring my husband with to drive me because I'm left-handed so doing everything with my dumb arm <laughs> okay the funny thing that my doctor found was that I have a split nerve the nerve inside here they use it with ultrasound to go in there to make sure they get the right spot because there's a little circle and I wish I could record it this you guys um, I have such a nervous wreck though, and usually I'm not with needles. I've gotten so used to it over the years with how much I've seen needles. I didn't like them before, but they just grew on me. They didn't bother me no more. But this one bothered me, probably because it was my first time. I didn't know what to expect. And getting the 33 injections here, and then remembering my hip injection, and when I needed knee surgery. Ugh, just... <laughs> yeah. So I was nervous, and I didn't even think about asking the assistant if she would mind recording it for you guys. So kind of bummed out. I have a little video here to share with you, try to include. But um, my yeah, my nerve is actually split, and I said that is that normal? He's like, no. <laughs> and I said, well, how does that happen? We always laugh because he's the one I told you guys about that said I'm medically interesting. I have a lot of abnormal things so we try to make a joke out of it and I asked him well, 
how does that happen? And he says that it's how you grow. It's how you grow up that can happen, okay? And then he said there was a lot of fluid around my nerve. And he, he had asked about, like, past injuries. I told him I'm, I'm a klutzy person. Like, I'll run into doorways and I've fallen a lot. I don't know, maybe a time I fell down on the ice, maybe smashing it. That's the only thing I can think of. The main bother sem for me is the weakness. I've broken even waitressing. I've, well, geez, and it's been a lot longer than three years. Um, I explain it a lot, like, how your hands feel when you first wake up. Like you go grab a cup of coffee and your hands feel so weak. It goes like that down on my arm. This month I broke in one plate and two glasses. I dropped them right in the sink and stuff. But And like trying to use, my mother-in-law had gotten me these really pretty plates. The last place we lived. They were really pretty. And they were black. And they were black and red and they had a pretty black design inside of them. But I had to get rid of them because they're so damn heavy, you guys. And it, I try to cook with the cast iron because that's so much better for you. And it's so hard to cook with that. There's no way one hand can cut it. <laughs> so I wanted to share this with you guys. Along with getting all myself all worked up about disappointment, it, it's been so hot and humid and stormy here. And then I... I just uh, was helping Nate mow grass a little bit the day before. Uh, it's just been a lot lately, so I was already not feeling my greatest. And I keep pushing along, and I was afraid about this. I thought I had one more day, but come to find out it was that day I had to get it done, which was yesterday. So uh, today I really have to force myself not to do anything, which isn't so hard because I feel so crummy. But this way, if I chill out, then um, hopefully tomorrow will be better. This weekend is supposed to be gorgeous, you guys, and I want to make sure I'm feeling good for it because I want to do some fishing. I want to do stuff. So that's my goal. Oh, you guys, so you know how I told you I've been trying to go by mom's? I've only gone to mom's three times since she passed away. It feels so uncomfortable to be there. You know, when you have someone who's sick and always at home, you always picture seeing them in their spot, and she's not there. But really hard to find this. I should say hard to find this. It's hard to read this again. It's all dusty. And here's one of the little goodies I got, Mom. If I took that away too soon, you can just pause the video and read it if you'd like. But aren't those little cartoon chicks cute? <laughs> What else can I tell you guys? I did the stupidest thing. I decided that I was going to forget to call in my medis medicine. I don't know what it's like where you live, but when I see pain management, I have to call in my medicine every month. And like five, five days or seven days ahead of time, not too much sooner, because otherwise you have to, it was a waste and you have to call back again. Well, I had forgotten with Memorial Day and everything, you know, with them being closed. And I'm about out of my medicine, and they were supposed to, I was supposed to call in. So I got written up for not calling in time. So that sucks. I, I really wish I didn't have to depend on this medicine at all. And, uh, but I'm working on that. Because I really hate being under the thumb, you know what I mean? Um... I wanted to see how many of you had nerve blocks. I had another one done. I, I believe it was in my neck. I've had an EKG. No, not an EKG. That's a heart thing. I had that done in an ambulance trip. Um, EMG? I think it's called an EMG. They shove needles and they check your how your nerves respond or something. That was fun. So, that's what's going on now. It's achy and stuff. But, um, we'll see what happens. I just want to, sh I know a lot of you deal with, like, the weakness stuff. That's very frustrating. You want to be picking up stuff, working with little things, working with your hands, period. You guys, I want to draw again. I really miss drawing. And I recently, um, 
wanted to try painting too. I was supposed to be doing that with mom. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up now. Now I just really yacked your ears off. But I hope this gave you a little bit of understanding. I know some of you were wondering what the hell a nerve black was. Well, I dumbed it down and hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so I hope you all are doing alright. Next video is different. I don't know if I'm gonna put it out there because I missed some things I wanted to add. But it was about how to get out of those bad mind spaces when you're having a hard day. Just trying to get try, uh, ways to uplift your mood, more or less. What a couple things I do. That's what the next video was supposed to be about. But I don't know yet. Alright, you guys, I hope you're doing alright. If not, hang in there. And if you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe, join our Spoonie fam. Usually videos are a little more uplifting than this, a little more happier than this. But it's been a rough one. We'll get through it. Alright, love yous, and I will see you in the next video.